I'm Greg Garrett, Director of Technical Services for the National Plastic Council and the owner of Applied Materials Technologies. Uh, one of the things that I do for the National Plastic Council is I do job site visitations all across the United States, but I don't just look at plaster surfaces or, or quartz or pebble, but I also do other things like look at all tile pools and spas. And one of the things that I encounter the most and I get questioned the most about, and Without a doubt, is one of the phenomena in our industry that people often question me in depth about is the subject of calcium growths, or as we call them, calcium nodules. Calcium uh, nodules have been around forever. They're this very extraordinary phenomena. And they come in all different sizes and shapes. And because they come in different sizes and shapes, people often don't understand the cause-effect relationships that produce them and how they can be dealt with. That's the very serious part. Um, sometimes you go to a pool, you'll see them growing off of a microfreezer. You'll see them growing in the floor. You'll see them growing in the walls. In my PowerPoint presentation that I have on nodules, I actually have pictures of fiberglass coated plaster surfaces with nodules growing on the fiberglass. Not once, but several of these pools. And the ones that are the most incredible are I have pools that are all tile pools and spas, be it ceramic, porcelain, glass tile pools, and they have nodules growing out of the grout. Not only out of the grout, but I have pictures, uh, and I've actually been to a marble tile pool where the nodules are growing out of the tiles themselves. And people, it's very difficult for them to believe. Uh, shy, safe-wise, they grow off of microfissures, they grow off of small in some cases, little pinholes or smaller um, areas that are so small you cannot detect them with the human eye. And it takes some real uh, kind of understanding of their formation and how they get there to understand what goes on. The nodules that you see in many cases will take on different colors. They can have entrapped sediment in them and that gives them a brown or a tan color. Some of them look like, as you see in some of the pictures on the screen, you'll actually see little holes in them like barnacles. And so they look like a little small volcano on the side. Uh, years ago, some people said that they only grew uh, because of cleat marks in pools, which was an old myth. And then you see nodules on the side of a pool and you go, you know for sure that guy didn't walk up them walls with them cleats. So how did them nodules get on the walls? So they grow on the walls, the floor, the coves, and again, they will grow in concert with other phenomena like spot etching or etching deterioration. Um, if there are other metals in the water, they pick up the color of metal, such as iron or copper. Um, they, in many cases, you'll see them growing off of tiny little highlighted or accentuated microfissures. And they, if they're growing on a wall, for example, you have gravity in such that it pulls the nodule down. So it'll look almost like a worm, uh, a white or a white tan, or if there's other metals in it, type of like a worm. And I used to call those wormers. They look like a worm. Others look like a small volcano, stalactites, in a, for example, in a cave. Um, they grow, as I mentioned, in different surfaces. I see them in plaster, I see them in quartz, I see them in all tile pools, I see them in all kinds of surfaces. And you have to remember that a lot of people, when we start talking about cause-effect relationships that produce them, they say, oh, it was because of this. Well, uh, for example, specifically, if you're saying, well, every time you see a nodule, there's a delamination. This is, again, another old myth put forth by some people. Totally inaccurate. Where's the delamination in an all towel pool and spa? There is none. And there is no, there is nothing has to do with plaster, but yet you have defined nodules that are truly, composition-wise, chemically-wise, the same thing as what you'll find in a swimming pool. What you're seeing on the screen is one of my favorite pools. This is a fiberglass coating over a plaster pool. The owner had plaster uh, issues because of aggressive chemistry. He said, I'm gonna solve this by bringing in and coating his surface with a fiberglass coating. And I told him, you gotta be careful. Just because you put that fiberglass coating over there doesn't mean you're gonna stop your problem. So what happened next when I got called out to go look at the pool? Sure enough, all of the grout below the water line completely dissolved out and you can actually see it 
that from the water line down, there is no grout. It's been severely deteriorated to the point where it's non-existent below the water line. So I want you to remember that was aggressive water causing deterioration of the grout. This is a known issue that happens in our industry. But what also happened was he started to get nodules growing over our own, the top of his fiberglass coating. And it wasn't one nodule, but multiple nodules at multiple locations, all ranging in size. Some of them, and you can actually see there's a ruler that I put up next to the nodule pit, the uh, pho photograph in the photograph, and you can actually see the size of some of these nodules. Some range from dime size all the way up to 50 cent piece. I also am showing pictures of nodules growing in all towel pools and spas because it's very difficult to understand. And you can see in this particular blue towel pool that the nodules are actually quite large and growing out of the grout line. And again, I put the ruler up on them to show the size of the nodule and its relationship to the grout and the size of the towel. The towel is a three quarter inch towel and you can see that the nodules are quite large and pronounced. This next photograph is of an all towel pool. And in this pool, we're looking at the bottom of a, a cylinder or a bench inside the pool. Bar stool is the best common term that's used, a bar stool inside. And you can actually see the nodules, again, all towel, growing out of the grout joints. There is no plaster in this pool. There is no delamination of plaster. This is grout and you have significant sized nodules. That same pool in a water feature, uh, you have very, very pronounced, very large prominent nodules also growing again. So to, to prove my point to the builder and, and his towel company was out there who, uh, that what was going on, first of all, I tested the water and found very aggressive water, low carbonate alkalinity. And I explained to them the, you know, what I suspected was going on. And to prove the point, I took a yellow diamond pad. This is a 400 grit yellow diamond pad, hand pad. And using this diamond pad, I laid on top of the deck and very gently, slowly, so as not to scratch this glass towel, removed the calcium gross. Then I took a dental pick and I carry multiple types of dental picks in my testing equipment. I took a dental pick with a very fine point and I had him lay on the deck with me and taking the dental pick and putting it in his hand, I had him close his eyes and I said, now, you know approximately where that, that calcium growth was removed from. I want you to slowly pull this dental pick across there and tell me if you feel anything where that growth was at. And sure enough, what he did was he pulled the dental pick slowly across and he goes, oh my gosh, there's a tiny little hole here. He could fill the hole with the very fine end of a dental pick. And I said, that's right. That's where it was originating from. So what did I do again? Because now he's starting to understand. I took again the 400 pad, very gently removed another one, gave him the dental pick and had him repeat the process. And what he found out that when he did this, he could actually identify that tiny little pinhole, and, and I know that it's very difficult to understand, but the end of this dental pick is extremely fine, okay? So again, that's in an all towel vessel, but that's the use of how I use my tools to help people to understand how they can originate at certain sites. Um, again, this is another all towel pool, different pool, different vessel with large calcium nodules growing in it. This is a glass towel and I took this picture. This picture is in Southern California and it's a green translucent glass towel. And you can see the nodules growing again out of the grout. Uh, I probably have more pictures of nodules in all towel vessels than I do in plaster pools or as many. So not only are they different shapes, sizes, but they come in and they appear on different surfaces, but they're also different colors. Uh, I have pictures of nodules where there's iron in the water and you're seeing this photograph where the, the nodule actually picks up the iron as it's forming in the calcium carbonate growth itself. And you can see that there are tra excuse me, traces of iron in this nodule. They also pick up other colors 
anything, if it's a windy day and they're forming, they may pick up sediment or scale and you will actually see them have a brownish tint to them. This particular pool that you're looking at is a fiberglass coated pool. Now this is essential, you'll see more about this pool later. Fiberglass coated pool, and you can actually see up at the waterline tile, I tore a piece of the fiberglass off to show that there is a plaster surface underneath. And if you look at the nodules themselves, they will be blue. But one of the things that I'm pointing out in this particular pool is that there are, it had a copper ionizing system on it. And the copper put in the water to function as an antimicrobial unit to augment so the owner could run reduced levels of chlorine. And, and you can actually see that the copper unit itself is breaking down. It was designed to break down and to put copper ions back in the water. Well, the copper ions got actually incorporated into the calcium gross as they were forming. And again, you can see in the photographs, they look like little blue worms running down the walls. And there's not one, but multiple of these things. Again, this is a fiberglass coated surface.